हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर यूट्यूब चैनल फॉर नर्सेस प्रिपरेशन आई एम नीरज कुमार कैथल टुडे वी आर प्रेजेंटिंग फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट डिजीजेस विद इंपॉर्टेंट क्लिनिकल मैनिफेस्टेशन दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली प्रिपेयर फॉर एम्स नॉर्सेट एग्जाम 2021 दिस इज अ वेरी लॉन्ग वीडियो सो वी डिसाइडेड टू टेक दिस वीडियो इन अ पार्ट्स this is the first part next part will be uploaded soon so let's begin our today's video first disease is addison's disease addison disease is also known as hypocortisolism hypocortisolism this disease is due to adrenal gland do not produce enough hormones adrenal glands not able to produce enough hormones this condition known as addison's disease in this disease bronch skin pigmentation occur it is a very important sign of this disease bronch color pigmentation of skin occurs in addison's disease second disease is chicken pox chicken pox disease also known as varicella it is caused by the varicella varicella zoster virus chicken pox disease caused by the varicella zoster virus the important feature of this disease is pleomorphism pleomorphism means all stages of rashes like papules vesicles and crust papules vesicles and crust occur simultaneously in a person who is suffering with chicken pox disease have important feature of pleomorphism pleomorphism is a condition in which all stages of rashes like papules vesicles and crust are seen at same time in chicken pox disease itchy blister like rashes found on skin you can take a screenshot for your revision purpose next disease is dvt dvt stands for deep vein thrombosis let's see about this disease it is a blood clot in deep vein usually in the legs deep vein thrombosis is a condition in which person is having blood clot in the deep muscles usually this condition occurs in person's leg now let's talk about the important sign present during present in the dvt condition homan sign found positive in this condition what is homan sign discomfort or pain behind knee upon forced dorsiflexion of foot let's explain this thing in a easy way suppose you have to check a person is having dvt or not just uh, lie down the patient and suppose this is the foot of a person this is the foot these these are the fingers and toes of the foot and this is the leg part now these are the calf muscles of the leg calf muscles are found behind the knee if you have uh, if you do dorsiflexion if you do dorsiflexion movement in person's foot and person says he is having pain just behind the knee in calf muscles it means homan sign is positive you can say this person is having deep pain thrombosis i am repeating it again homan sign discomfort of the pain behind knee upon post dorsiflexion of the foot so this is the important next condition is glaucoma glaucoma is a eye disease glaucoma is a group of eye diseases causes blindness glaucoma is a group of eye diseases that causes blindness due to damage in nerve that connects 
eye to the brain usually due to increased eye pressure. In glaucoma patient, eye pressure is increased and due to this pressure, due to this increased pressure, person's eyes nerve that connects eye with the brain get damaged and person become blind. This condition known as blindness. The important clinical feature of this disease is tunnel vision. Tunnel vision in simple words we can explain uh, if you just going past through from a tunnel you see a light at the last of the tunnel. Some this kind of view seen by the persons who are suffering with glaucoma disease. Next disease is Kawasaki disease. This is the disease in which inflammation of vessel, walls of the blood vessel occur. Walls of the blood vessel get inflamed. This condition known as Kawasaki disease. Most commonly Kawasaki disease occurs in infants and young children. Infants means age below one year and young children are mostly affected with this Kawasaki disease. A strawberry tongue. A strawberry tongue is a important feature of Kawasaki disease. You can take a screenshot for your revision purpose. If examiner asks, a strawberry tongue is related with which disease? Then you have to choose Kawasaki disease. Next disease condition is Myasthenia gravis. In short, it is written as MG. Myasthenia gravis is a neuromuscular disorder. Descending muscle weakness and ptosis are the important features of this disease. Descending muscle weakness and ptosis. What is ptosis? Inability to open upper eyelids. A person who is suffering with myasthenia gravis is unable to open his eyes or he is not able to open his eyelids. After, uh, suppose a person is sitting, just suddenly his upper eyelids just fall and he is not able to just open his eyes, he have to use his hands to see what is going on. This is a condition known as myasthenia gravis. Next disease is pneumonia. I hope you have heard the name of this disease and you are very familiar with this disease is a very fatal condition. Infection by which air sacs get inflamed in one or both lungs which may filled with fluid. In pneumonia lungs are affected one or both. This is due to infection whether by bacterial or viral or any other. Due to infection air sacs of the lungs get inflamed and filled with the fluid or pus. This condition known as pneumonia. Rusty sputum or rust colored sputum is the important sign and symptom of this disease. Next disease is Chlamydia. Chlamydia. Chlamydia is a sexually transmitted disease. It is a STD. It is transmitted by the Chlamydia trachomatis. Chlamydia trachomatis is a bacteria. Chlamydia is a sexually transmitted disease caused by the bacteria. Its name Chlamydia trachomatis. Important clinical sign of this disease is Milky discharge and painful urination. Milky discharge and painful urination. You can take a screenshot for your revision. Next disease is Dengue. Dengue disease also known as breakbone fever. Dengue disease is a mosquito borne viral disease. Dengue disease is a mosquito-borne viral disease. Aedes aegypti is a mosquito and 
डेंगू वायरस इज अ वायरस दैट कॉजेज डेंगू डिजीज इन दिस डिजीज इंपॉर्टेंट साइन एंड सिम्टम्स इंक्लूड थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया पॉजिटिव हार्टमान साइन एंड पिटैकी थ्रोम्बोसाइटोपीनिया मीन्स डिक्रीज प्लेटलेट काउंट प्लेटलेट इज इसेंशियल फॉर ब्लड क्लॉट फॉर्मेशन ड्यू टू डेफिशियंसी ऑफ प्लेटलेट देर इज अ इंक्रीज चांसेस ऑफ ब्लीडिंग पैटेकी इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड विद दिस नेक्स्ट डिजीज इज पी आई एच प्रेगनेंसी इंड्यूस्ड हाइपर टेंशन सिंपली वी कैन से इन अ मदर और अ वुमन हु वॉज प्रीवियसली नॉट हैविंग एनी काइंड ऑफ हाइपर टेंशन but during pregnancy suddenly she have hypertension this is known as pregnancy induced hypertension important features of this disease is protein urea means presence of protein in urine hypertension and edema next disease is gonorrhea gonorrhea is also known as the clap It is a sexually transmitted disease by bacteria Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Gonorrhea is a sexually transmitted bacterial disease caused by the Neisseria gonorrhoeae bacteria. It is also known as the clap. Important features of this disease are greenish creamy discharge, greenish creamy discharge and painful urination. you can take a screenshot for your revision our next disease condition is appendicitis appendix become inflamed and filled with pus causing pain as we all know itis is a suffix that denotes inflammation inflammation in the appendix is known as appendicitis in appendix inflammation due to full pus fillness causing pain now let's talk about the important sign and symptoms rebound tenderness at macburney's point if we want to diagnose appendicitis we can find out by the assessing pain at macburney's point where the, where is this macburney's point located right side of the abdomen right side of the patient's abdomen 1 by 3 distance from anterior superior iliac spine <coughs> anterior superior iliac spine located here to umbilicus and this is the umbilicus or navel region draw a imaginary line between this umbilicus and anterior superior iliac spine at 1 by 3 distance macburney's point is located if we have if we give pressure at this point person feel pains this is the important sign, uh, sign by which we can define the presence of appendicitis second important sign is rousing sign palpation of left lower quadrant elect pain in right lower quadrant this is the abdomen region of a person and this is the left lower quadrant when we just palpate in the left lower quadrant it gives elect pain in the right lower quadrant last is sources sign sources sign pain from flexion the thigh to the hip we just say patient to flex his thigh at near to abdomen this causes pain simply we can say if we want to diagnose appendicitis we can check three important signs pain at uh, rebound tenderness or pain at macburney's point rousing sign and sources sign you can take a screenshot for your revision our next disease condition is cholecystitis cholecystitis means inflammation of the gall bladder 
and the most important cause of this disease condition is gall stones or stone formation in the gall bladder gall bladder is a important organ of our body that reserves or stores the bile bile is secreted by the liver bile is helpful in the emulsification of the fat important sign of this cholecystitis disease is murphy sign in murphy sign pain occurs in the right upper quadrant right upper quadrant of abdomen pain occurs next disease is graves disease due to over production of thyroid hormone graves disease is due to over production of thyroid hormone so it is also known as hyperthyroidism thyroid hormone is secreted by the thyroid gland it is a butterfly shaped beautiful gland situated in the neck region of person important symptom or sign of this disease is exophthalmos exophthalmos is a condition in which bulging of the eye outside the orbit bulging of the eye outside the orbit in this person looks like his eyes are coming out from the out orbit next disease is myocardial infarction it is a most important topic of every every exam myocardial infarction infarction means cell death and myocardium is a middle layer of the heart it is also known as heart attack blockage of blood flow to heart muscles if there is a obstruction or blockage in the blood vessel due to which blood is not able to reach at the myocardial muscles of the heart and so cells of the myocardium get died this condition known as myocardial infarction in this disease condition levin sign is seen it is a very important sign levin sign means clutching of the chest when a person is having myocardial infarction he will he have pain in his left side so he looks like this he is clutching his chest clutching his chest and he is having severe pain in the left side and this is the identification mark of my myocardial infarction if you see someone who is having chest pain and in this position he is clutching his chest so you can guess the person is having myocardial infarction next now in myocardial infarction condition the pain occurs crushing stepping and radiate towards the left shoulder neck and arm in myocardial infarction pain starts at the left chest region and radiate or moves towards the left arm neck region the pain is not relieved with the use of nitroglycerin if a person is having severe chest pain you just said to take rest and you just sublingually given him nitroglycerin after giving nitroglycerin the pain is not resolved it mean the person is having heart attack or myocardial infarction so everyone this was our today's video about few important disease conditions and their important sign and symptoms this uh, video second part will be uploaded very soon thanks for watching this complete video and all the best you can take a screenshot for your revision purpose